The convention center seems to be showing its age, even though it is only uh, open in 2003. And the roof has sprung a leak again. John Delano takes a closer look at what that means. The David L. Lawrence convention is an important jewel, attracting all kinds of different conventions and organizations to the city. But sometimes it seems plagued by construction problems. Well, there's been some issues. I mean, as you know, it's a uh, very, very large building. State Senator Wayne Fontana is chairman of the Sports and Exhibition Authority that owns the center that first opened 15 years ago. Its latest problem, water leaks, an ongoing issue, this time on the fourth floor terrace. It's in an area that they decided that they wanted to put a garden, basically a rain garden type uh, thing where you could walk through it, you could have uh, uh, events there, showers, weddings, whatever, and make it a nice atmosphere. It's a 40,000 square foot roof garden, not unlike this, where rainwater is seeping through the roof into the public areas below. Well, now we're replacing. Yeah, we did repair, and now we're going to replace that whole area, uh, as I mentioned, where the uh, gardens are and, and uh, the shrubs and all that sort of thing that they have in there, again, uh, to make the experience a, a good experience for anyone at least is there. Seven years ago, the SEA settled a lawsuit over leaks against a contractor for $1.86 million, now in a capital reserve fund, says Fontana, which can help cover the work. Some of that money will be, will be used for that, absolutely. I asked if the replacement would disrupt planned events at the convention center. That's a good question, and that's one I can't answer at this point. So uh, there probably will be some restriction, but I'm sure they'll do it. We know when the most conventions come and, and, and booking uh, uh, those conventions. So it'll be, I'm sure, done at the dawn time or the least inconvenient time uh, that we can do. John Delano, KDKA TV News.